Hi everyone, thanks for joining me for this series of videos on why you are the market in your life. Because you are the one who can make the small inner changes every day that will bring you all the joy and love your heart's crying out for. And that will help you to become the loving presence and force of change you were born to be. So today I wanted to share a channel teaching from my healing guide on this. And throughout this teaching he refers to we because he's talking about everybody's spiritual guides, which I think is beautiful. Follow your joy, which will bring you to love, and live only from this love. When you feel yourself slipping, remember this love, and feel it in your heart and soul, and choose to follow it instead. Believe in this love, for it is the very love of God, and God never fails, and God will never fail you. When you feel fear rising, turn your thoughts to God, to joy, to love. This is the true path you are here to follow. Again and again we have said, follow your joy. How simple this is, and yet how hard you make it. How many times in your day do you turn from joy and do what you think you should? How many times do you make something that should be joyful into a chore? because you think you don't deserve joy, or you think you would be a better person if you have to suffer for what you want. You need to get rid of these old, outdated ideas and grasp only the ideas of your soul, of God, joy and love. These should be at the centre and heart of your life. Every second should be focused on how you can achieve more of these. You deserve love and joy. You deserve only the best. You must start knowing this and accept all the good and abundance into your life. Otherwise you turn it away from you and waste your energy pushing what you want away instead of relaxing and doing nothing but accept all you want into your life. This is what acceptance means. It does not mean bowing down to all the suffering in your life. It means you stop fighting against letting what you want into your life and start to do nothing and let it flow to you instead. You have twisted the meanings of a lot of things to fit in with your view of reality that says you must suffer and strive to get what you want. When are you going to listen to and accept God's world view that you can have it all now if you just let yourself have it? You and only you are blocking the flow of all good things into your life. You and only you. Stop blocking now and start feeling the good flow in. No longer stop yourself or doubt yourself or wait until someone else says you are good enough or know enough. Start to think how you can act in service now and take to your life purpose now like a warrior. Build your own strength and focus. Let no one deter you from your path. Let not another day pass and you are not helping those you could help now. And remember that every time you help another, you help yourself. Because you are aligning yourself to your divine life purpose and your soul feels joy at doing what it came here to do. It is easy to know when you are on the path. Your feelings will tell you that you are joyous and satisfied and calm and peaceful and positive. The abundance will flow into your life. If something or someone starts to make you feel other than this, no, you must release them from your life, at least until they start to make you feel joyous again. Follow your joy, shine your light, be the love of God in this world. Then you will find your true happiness and purpose and be one with God as you are meant to be. Call on us always to help you on your path and know we will always, always answer. We love you and our sole purpose is to help you rise up to be the mighty beings you are. Rise now on our wings, on our hearts, on our love, on our energy. Feel us lift you high and know you are meant to fly. All you need to do is take off. I just love that for so many reasons, that passage, but it's just so beautiful and joyous to know that our angels and spirit guides are with us always helping us to rise up to be all we are and all we are born to be and all we are meant to be. 
And I love that, follow your joy, shine your light, be the love of God in this world. Follow your joy, shine your light, be the love of God in this world. How more beautiful a way can you sum it all up than that? And another part that struck me today was about not letting another day pass and about aligning yourself to your divine life purpose now. Now those words can make it seem like some huge big thing we have to do. But remember it's the small, tiny, deeper moments that will change your life. It's those small inner moments and only you can give yourself those inner moments. Only you can stop now today, turn inside you, listen to your own soul, to your guide, to the divine inside you. And gently, step by step, day by day, tiny step by tiny step, tiny chains by tiny chains, align yourself to your divine life purpose, which will be to be this beautiful, energetic presence of love in the world, in some form or other. So thank you for listening today, and I'll be back next Monday with another video from Mary Magdalene, again another beautiful teaching to help you know and trust that you are the miracle in your life.